Is your map showing any of these symbols? If so, don't worry, because in this video I will show you what to do to fix this issue. Hello and welcome back to Tech with AGR, and in this video I will be showing you how to fix an OS not found or OS fault issue on your Mac. This applies to pretty much all of the Macs from the last 10 to 12 years, maybe even some a bit older. From 2010 iMacs all the way to the new M1 and M2 lineup. This video is your ultimate guide to show you how to diagnose and fix this issue. If you want to skip to a specific part of the video, there will be timestamps to help you below. And remember, if you enjoy the video, feel free to hit like, drop a comment, or even hit subscribe. Now, on to the video. To begin, I think it's a good thing to understand what these symbols actually mean. A circle with a line basically means your startup disk, your main hard drive or SSD, contains an OS but is unusable, probably because it has a fault or your drive has become corrupt. If you get a question mark folder, it means your startup drive isn't present, like in the case you've just bought a used Mac and maybe the seller didn't include a hard drive or SSD in the machine, or as in my case, there is no OS present, like the flashing question mark you see there. However, upon startup, if you see a blank screen, it is usually a preliminary screen to another symbol that will show up. On this 2015 MacBook Pro in front of me, usually a blank screen appears, followed by the flashing question mark folder soon after. And in the event your Mac is just stuck on the progress bar and Apple logo, it could just be a matter of a corrupt OS or a damaged startup drive. But all the issues mentioned above can be sorted with this next step. So now we know what these symbols mean, the first step to fix the issue is to power the Mac off. The next thing you need to do is hold down the Command, Alt and R key, all at the same time. Command, Alt, R. Then push the power button of the Mac, holding down these buttons. Once you see a globe symbol, you can release the buttons from your hand. Then it's a matter of signing into your Wi-Fi, which I will do now, and then you will enter internet recovery mode. Once you get into internet recovery, you have four options. They are restore from a time machine backup. This is if you've created a backup before and you want to restore that. You might have done that if you're backing up your data and doing a fresh install of the OS. Then you move on to the next one, which is reinstall macOS Monterey, which is what I will be doing to this Mac because it simply doesn't have an OS on its SSD. Then you get to Safari where you can go online and find support or just browse the web if you need to because your Mac is simply isn't working properly. And finally, there's disk utility, where you can erase and clear the drive to potentially repair it, or you can reformat the old drive. Since I've just bought this MacBook, I'll first be going into disk utility to erase it and reformat the SSD, and then I'll be coming back to disk utility to reinstall macOS Monterey, which I'll do now. Now that I have erased the SSD in my MacBook, I can reinstall a copy of macOS. Now, the copy that shows up here will be the latest copy available to your machine. In my case, because it's the 2015 13-inch, that is macOS Monterey. However, in your case, it could be slightly different.
as you can see, in my case it worked, and I hope it did in yours as well. However, in the event it didn't, you may wish to try and change your startup drive, as it may be failing. This was an issue I had when working on my 2010 iMac, link will be in the top right corner, and I swapped my hard drive to a newer, faster SSD, and this did the trick. Failing this, you may just wish to contact Apple to see if they can diagnose your issue. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching, remember to drop a like and a comment, and also feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.